Hi everyone, Minerva here. Hope you're having a nice day. Um, I just wanted to share some things with you. Uh, first, I uh, kind of finished my 3x3 three three, um, ooh, never fails my Trinchies book my 3x3 three three art book and um, I still have to embellish the outside and I have some Trinchies here from Swaps I decided to uh, put them in with paper clips because I don't want to glue them to the page that way I can just clip them out and read who send them to me like this one I know was sent by uh, Be Creative A2 a member of the International Craft group on Facebook she also made this one these are, I would consider these works of art, they're so beautiful. This beauty, beautiful one was sent uh, by Eileen McKinney's from the International Crafts Group also. And this one. So that's my first, you, you would call, signature. What I did, uh, I cut out some white cardstock and I put them in these... Uh, I use this uh, string, it's not really a string, it's a trim, and instead of uh, putting it through the outside, I uh, put it through a, a cardboard and then I uh, glued it. So I have all these pages now to fill, and I need to put some kind of uh, decoration on it. Next, I uh, wanted to share that I, I I bought the I bought these candies. Let me see if this is too close. This box of candies, but I bought it more for the heart. You can get these for about a, a dollar or something. But you have a nice heart here that you can use as a template. That's what I'm planning to do. And I have this orange juice box, which I want to turn into a uh, birdhouse. I don't know if I'm going to cut it short, shorter, but I'm going to work on this. I'm still thinking whether to cover it with gesso first and then put on some spackling. Uh, I have to see if I have some uh, outdoor acrylic paint. Well, I'm thinking about how to how to do this. <coughs> I like it because it's uh, covered. It'll probably withstand a season outdoors because I buy the, the wood ones I sell and I paint them and I decorate them but they don't last for more than a season because they use that uh, compacted uh, wood and over here the humidity and all it just it doesn't last <coughs> excuse me I think I'm catching a cold and I also wanted to share I got this catalog um, from Blick and they're having a, a sale a winter sale so you might want to check it out online at dickblick.com we have up to 78% off list prices and so you might want to look into that so yesterday I went to Walmart and I got this uh, fluorescent paint which I'm going to try in my uh, jelly prints it's a yellow fluorescent I didn't have this color I am buying a lot of the uh, metallic colors to use with the jelly print. I also bought this. I want to try it with the jelly print also. It's a uh, fabric screen. Normally used to uh, screen paint on uh, t-shirts and stuff. But 
It's so pretty. I want to try it. See if I can print on the jelly with it. I suppose you, you should be able to. Let me show you. It's so pretty. It has these hearts and ferns. And what you do is you take off, uh, let me see how this, let's see if I can, taking this film off. You're supposed to take a film, the backing film off, and I just wanted to see if this is open. Open now. It's really thin. Yeah, it's like a screen thing. But I think I should be able to lay it on the jelly plate and with a credit card go over it with a card and see if it we'll see if not i'll use it on paper straight to the paper just wanted to try that it's a beautiful print well it should give a beautiful print because i did get my jelly plate at last i have my husband uh gifted me for christmas i got it from amazon don't remember how much how um what it measures, but it's a large one, and I can't wait to um, use it. I haven't done it yet, because if I did, you know, <laughs> I'd be probably printing all day. So, this is uh, the paper we made with uh, scraps in the International Crafters Group. And I'm really surprised how this comes out. This is the back side. And this is the front. I, I cut a couple of, you know, just... I used uh, the edges to make some uh, ATCs. Because we, we were making ATCs, and the first ones we applied directly to the... <clears throat> background the scraps of paper but with these the, the other six I made I decided to use this paper so I cut the edges off but like here I might trim this edge because it's thin I'm planning to use this uh, for a journal I need a journal to put my uh, things in the stuff I receive from swaps and things that are too big and uh, so I uh, glued it to a playing card, and it's great. I think I should always have some of this uh, stuff around to use as a background for cars and things. It's nice. I like it. So this is a second set of six I made. I used this paper, like I said, and uh, I... Uh, put some heat on the tinsel I used and they, it curled them up real nice I like the way it looks <coughs> and I heard today's challenge I haven't seen the complete video yet but um, Eileen's going to be working on a reverse canvas and the only canvas I have is really too large to tackle a project right now it's a 14 by 18 I think but I have this box here. It's a chocolate box. And it has a, a nice frame to it. So I think I'm going to use this as a canvas. I'm going to tidy this up and cut this here. And it's going to look like a reverse canvas. So if you don't have a canvas, find a box and cut it out make it look like a canvas that should work out pretty good so I'm off to see Eileen's video hope you'll have a nice craft 
empty day. Even if you don't feel like it, try to do something today, crafty, a small project or something to get your mojo running. <laughs> I really, I really didn't feel like doing anything today, mm. but I'm going to see this video and I'm going to start fixing that box and from once you start, you just keep going. So, have a nice day. See you later. Bye.